Verse Racy, Wikipedia article audio. See text. The Verse Racy are a moderate sized family of 17 to 19 genera and about 540 species of flowering plants. The actual numbers differ according to the time period in which a given source is written describing this family. The Burse Racii are also known as the Torchwood family, the Frankincense and Myrrh family, or simply the Incense tree family. The family includes both trees and shrubs, and is native to tropical regions of Africa, Asia, and the Americas. Key Characteristics Tribes, Subtribes, and Genera Just as the family size differs according to the time period of the study, so, too, does its placement in the higher ranks. Nevertheless, the family is a genetically supported monophyletic group currently and frequently cited within the Sapindales and is recognized as a sister group to the Anacardiaceae. The Burse Racii are characterized by the non-allergenic resin they produce in virtually all plant tissue and the distinctive smooth, yet flaking, aromatic bark. The origins of the family can be traced to the Paleocene when Bicelia mexicana first diverged in Mexico. The subsequent divergences in the family lineage and migration of the species in the Eocene from North America have led to the current distributions of the species that are primarily associated with the tropics. Though the family likely originated in North America, the greatest generic diversity presently is in the Southern Hemisphere. Tabonico and Gumbo Limbo represent the economic, ethnobotanical, and ecological significance of the Burse Racii in the Western Hemisphere, while Frankincense and Myrrh represent the same in the Eastern Hemisphere. The Burse Racii trees or shrubs are characterized by resins that are present within the plant tissue from the vertical resin canals and ducts in the bark to the leaf veins. In fact, the synopomorphy of the Burse Racii is the smooth yet peeling or flaking aromatic bark. The clear, non-allergenic resins may smell like almonds, but at least the most well-known resins, frankincense and myrrh, have an odor that is distinct from almonds, smelling like incense. The leaves are generally alternate, spiral, and odd pinnately compound with opposite frequently long petiolulate, entire to serrate, pinnately veined leaflets whose symmetry is distinctive in some genera. However, some members are known to have trifoliate or unifoliate leaves. The leaf and leaflet stalks and axis may be brown and scurfy, while the leaf base is swollen and may be concave adaxially. The family members tend to be without stipules. The determinate, axillary inflorescences carry small, radial, unisexual flowers. The plants tend to be dioecious. The flowers may have four or five faintly connate but imbricate sepals with an equal number of distinct, imbricate petals. Also, the stamens, that may contain nectar discs have distinct glabrous filaments that occur in one or two whorls and in numbers equaling or twice the number of petals, the triculparate pollen is contained within two locules of the anthers that open longitudinally along slits. The genoetium contains three five connate carpels, one style, and one stigma that is head-like to lobed. Each locule of the superior ovary has two ovules with axial placentation that are anatropous to Campylotropus. The one to five pitted fruit is a droop that opens at maturity. The endosperm is usually lacking in the embryo. Some discrepancy exists in the literature about the size of the Burse Racii. Records say that the family has 17 to 18 genera and 500 to 540 to 726 species. Other authors cite different numbers, 1620 genera and 600 species, 
20 genera and 500-600 species, according to a pollen studies and molecular data, the family is split into three tribes, the Proteaea, Bursariae, and Canariaea. The Proteaea are composed of Proteum, Crepidospermum, Garuga, and Tetragastris. The Bursariae, which are further split into sub-tribes Boswelliini and Bursariini, contain Comifora, Acumia, Bicellia, Boswellia, Bacera, and Triuma. Finally, the Canariaea are composed of Canarium, Dacariodes, Haplolobus, Pseudodacriodes, Roselia, Santiria, Scudinanth, and Tradinicia. The morphology of the fruit, which is a drupe, helps to distinguish between the three tribes. Though the groupings have slightly changed since the 1990s, the Proteaea are described as having a two to five parted droop with either free or adhering parts which are not fused in the endocarp. The Bursariae are described as having a droop with parts that are fused in the endocarp, but an exocarp with dehissing valves, and the Canariaea as simply having a droop with parts that are fused in the endocarp. This is a list of the 19 genera of the Bursaceae with placement in tribe and subtribe. Taxonomy Bursaceae subtribe Bursaceae Bursaceae subtribe Boswelliaini Order Canariaea Proteaea According to the literature the Bursaceae have not been lumped with other families nor split up into several others. However, they have jumped orders several times. For example, in the early 19th century, the family seems to have been placed in the Bursarals, with the Anacardiaceae and Potuaceae. In the mid 19th century and early 20th century, the family was placed in the Garaniles. Then, by the mid and late 20th century, the family was moved to the Rutiles. Finally, in the late 20th century, the family was located within the Sapin Dales. Families that are consistently found in the same order as the Bursaceae include the Rutaceae, Meliaceae, and Cimarabaceae. Only in recent studies were the Bursaceae and the Anacardiaceae seen as sister groups. Biogeography The Sapin Dales are contained within the Malvids of the Rossid clade within the Udicotyledons. The order contains 9 to 15 families, 460 genera, and from 5,400 to 5,670 to 5,800 species. The currently recognized families include Aceraceae, Anacardiaceae, Bursaceae, Hippocastanaceae, Julianaceae, Meliaceae, Rutaceae, Sapindaceae, and Cimarabaceae. The Sapindales are a clade supported by DNA-based analyses on RBCL, ADPB, and 18S sequences. Within the Sapindales are two clades that contain gum and resin. The Rutaceae Meliaceae Cimarabaceae clade and the Bursaceae Anacardiaceae clade. Therefore, the Bursaceae are not the only family with this characteristic. The synopomorphies of the Sapindales include pinnately compound, alternate, and spiral leaves that may be palmately compound, trifoliate, or unifoliate and small four or five mirus flowers having a characteristic nectar disc and imbricate petals and sepals. Some of these characteristics also occur in the rosales. However, the sapindales and rutiles may actually form a complex, since many families jump between them. Indeed, RBCL sequence studies seem to indicate that a sapindalian slash rutiline complex exists and may better represent the relationships of the families than the separate orders would. A study based on chloroplast encoded gene RBCL reconstructed cladograms that include families within both the sapindales and rutiles. 
One such cladogram indicated that the sapindales are robust and that the bursa racii are within a single clade. This grouping seems to make sense as both the bursa racii and anacardiaceae have secretory canals in the phloem and resin canals in the leaves, and are unique in the sapindales for having biflavones in the leaf tissue. However, the two families have several distinguishing characteristics. The resin of the bursa racii is non-allergenic and two ovules per carpal occur, whereas the resin of the anacardiaceae can be allergenic or poisonous and one ovule per carpal is found. The bursa racii anacardiaceae clade is sister to a robust cluster of three other families, the sapindaceae aceraceae hippocastanaceae clade. The Rutaceae meliaceae Simurabaceae clade is sister to the Bursa Racii Anacardiaceae and Sapindaceae Aceraceae Hippocastanaceae clade. The RBCL technique is supported and considered acceptable until other methods become better developed for the analysis. Economic Significance and Ethnobotanic Uses the bursa racii are distributed throughout the world and primarily in the tropics, especially Malaysia, Africa, and Central and South America. The three tribes can be linked to a specific region of the world, although this is not obligatory. For example, members of the tribe Proteia are generally found in South America, those of the bursa racii are found in Africa and Mesoamerica while members of the Canariaea are found in Malaysia. However, each tribe has a representative genus present in all the tropical regions, Dacariodes, Proteum, and Comifora. The Burs racii are found in a variety of habitats, including hot, dry desert and savanna, as well as in coastal mangrove forest and rainforest habitats. One study found that the family originated in North America during the Paleocene, when the earliest fossils of the Sapindales are found. During the early to Middle Eocene, family members dispersed to eastern Laurasia via the Borea Tropical Land Bridge and the continents in the Southern Hemisphere, which is now the area of the greatest generic diversity of this family. More specifically, the earliest diverging genus was Bicelia in either North America, Mexico, or the Caribbean in the Paleocene. Similar results from other studies find that Bicelia mexicana, a native of Mexico, is basal to the remaining Bursa racii. These results may indicate that the family originated in Mexico. The next divergence was in the early Eocene when the Bursarini diverged and emigrated from North America into Africa, Madagascar, and India. Comifora dispersed throughout Africa during the Middle Eocene and from Africa to Madagascar during the Oligocene via the Mozambique Channel Land Bridge. The spread to India was more recent. The Canariaea and Boswelliini dispersed from western Laurasia and spread eastward during the Eocene. Fossils of Canarium, for example, from the Czech Republic date to the late Oligocene. Finally, the Proteaea originated in North America like the rest of the family, then migrated to Africa and Asia through the Tethys Seaway in the late Eocene but then made its way back to South America via long-distance dispersal. By the late Oligocene, all three Burs Racii tribes were extant and dispersed throughout the Northern Hemisphere. The mechanism of seed dispersal via animal link vectors may explain how most Burs Racii were able to expand their range so efficiently across the globe. Bicelia Boswellia and Triuma have dry fruits better suited for wind dispersal, but most Bursa racii have fleshy, edible fruit that is eaten by many animal dispersers. The seeds may provide a high reward in fat and protein if digested, but many animals eat just the fleshy part of the fruit and either discard the endocarp right away or excrete it some time later. 
Some known burst racee fruit consumers include hornbills, oilbirds, fruit pigeons, warblers, vireos, orioles, flycatchers, tanagers, woodpeckers, lorries, primates, lemurs, and sun bears. The fruits may also have been water dispersed. Several representative species within the burst racee typify the economic and ethnobotanic significance of the family. First, Dacryodes excelsa of the Canariaea is an important old growth species found in the Caribbean. Second, Bacera cimaruba of the Bursarini is a fast growing ornamental that is one of a few representatives of the primarily tropical family in the United States. Finally, the namesakes of the family Boswellia carteriae and Comifora abyssinica are important economically and medicinally in several parts of the world. Though this is a small subset of the large number of potentially important species, these four members exemplify the wide use and importance of the burst racee. The latter three are frequently cited in the literature for their renowned importance. Commonly known as Tabonico, Dacariodes excelsa is a large, dominant tree found in Puerto Rico and other parts of the Caribbean. The seeds of the tree are a source of food for birds. Like all members, the tree releases sap from the bark when wounded. The clear sap oozes from the tree and hardens to a white, aromatic waxy resin that can be used to make candles and incense. Before the arrival of the Spaniards to Puerto Rico, the native Tainos used the resin to make torches. The wood itself is useful for constructing housing, furniture, boxes, small boats, and a variety of other wood-based products. The utility of the wood is comparable to that of mahogany and birch. In addition, Species like Canarium littorala, Dacariodes costata, Santiria laevigata, and Santiria tomentosa from Malaysia, as well as Acumia clanina and Canarium schweinfurthii from Africa, also produce valuable wood for construction projects and carpentry. Several species in the genus Canarium are used as edible fruits and nuts. Species in the genus Becerra especially the so-called elephant tree, grow primarily in Mexico, where their secretions are a raw material in making varnish. The Maya also used a Becerra sp to make incense. However, the Becerra may also be considered an ornamental genus and a common representative of the family in the United States, especially in Florida and the Southwest. Naked Indian or Becerra cimaruba, in particular, is found in Florida, Mexico, the Caribbean, Venezuela, and Brazil. The tree is also named the tourist tree for its very distinctive flaking red bark. Apparently, the tree occurs in tropical areas where many white tourists go on vacation. The resin from this tree can be used to make varnish and turpentine. In addition, the resin may also be used similarly to tiger balm to relieve sprains and muscle aches. The leaves are used to brew a tea to relieve inflammation. The bark serves as an antidote to skin irritation caused by Metopium toxiferum of the Anacardiaceae. The gumbo limbo grows quickly and can be used to make a living fence especially out of cut limbs that are placed straight into the ground or for restoration projects as a pioneer species. The tree is highly tolerant of high-intensity winds such as hurricane force winds, so is planted in areas where hurricanes occur frequently, such as Florida and the Caribbean. The seeds of this species are also a source of food for birds. Frankincense, or olibanum, and myrrh have long been valued for the aromatic resins they produce. These resins are extracted via tapping, or cutting of the bark to make it release sap. The liquid sap hardens and is gathered, sold as is or further processed and mixed with spices, seeds, and roots to make various forms of incense. 
Both species are native to parts of Northeast Africa and Arabia, but their distribution and use have been extended beyond these regions to India and China. The best frankincense is grown in Oman and the incense is widely used in worship in India. The ancient Egyptians prized frankincense for the resin they used to make the characteristic dark eyeliner and myrrh as an embalming agent for deceased pharaohs. At that time, myrrh was worth more than gold. In modern times resins from these trees are used in Chinese herbal medicine and Indian Ayurvedic medicine to treat several ailments. Pills containing small doses of frankincense and other ingredients are valued in oriental medicine for promoting blood flow and the movement of the qi. And myrrh is similarly claimed to promote blood flow, stimulate the stomach and digestion, and to be useful in treating diabetes, menopause, uterine tumors, amenorrhea, and dysmenorrhea. Both frankincense and myrrh are used to relieve pain and inflammation as in arthritis and asthma. Bacera, Comifora Acumia, Bicelia, Boswellia, Triuma, Garuga Ambilobia, Canarium, Dacariodes, Haplolobus, Pseudodacriodes, Roselia, Santiria, Scudinanth Tradonychia Crepidospermum, Proteum, Tetragastris